what I've got in my hands is uh, a Grand Musket. Now, Musket is one of the wines that Chambers Rosewood is world renowned for. This wine here is actually a, a slightly older version, so there's four wines in the, in the stable, which are all categorised by a range of descriptors, which is an industry-based category system. It starts with a Rutherland or Australian, depending on whether you're doing a, a geographical region or where you're doing multi-region. So that's about youth and vitality. Uh, then you go into a classic, which is this one here, which is our old wine, which is still got some of that youth and all this fruit characters, but it's starting to get, develop a little bit more age. And then you go into the grand, which is this one, which is more about age and the depth and complexity from concentration from time. And then the, the top end of it is the rare, which are an exercise in decadence. They are very old, they're very concentrated and they're very rich and, and you don't need very much of them to get a good, good feel for it. So the Rutherlands are more uh, about, um, they might be as much as five, six years old, but they might only have one and one and two year old wines in there. So you've got a range of youths, but it's more about having the youthful characters. So you're going to have a lot of rose petal and raisins and dried fruit and fig and, and all these descriptors that generally jump out in terms of when you're looking at young muskets, you're not going to get too much of the, the wood drying aspects and or some of the more of the concentration is more about life and youth and vitality. With our old vine, look, that's actually a relatively young wine uh, in terms of our being what we've been selling. Um, it initially was made out of, of two vintages, 2007 and 2001. Um, but it's more about the fact that it's, it's starting to develop some more depth and complexity from concentration and, and some evaporation time in time and wood. And you're starting to get some of those extra depths of flavour and, and maybe it's moving away from that rose petal, maybe more into that fig and, and some different characters into it. And then the grand, the base of the grand goes back to 1930, around about that sort of time, 1930s. Um, and so it's actually been a continual process since then. So looking at influences of wine from there coming through even now, even though there's probably a, a very small amount of the original wine left, the influence is still there. And then the rares goes back to the 1890s. Where we're sitting now is where a lot of the work is done for these wines. We're sitting amongst the barrels and the, the casks um, and realistically that's where all the magic occurs. You know, when people talk about all these little bits and pieces of wine making, you know, there's always this little stuff about it. You know, as part of the buying rate process, it's best to go into to old barrels because it's about um, the fruit in there. The barrels are just a dynamic storage vessel and allows them to mature up and allows them to, to meld together in terms of blends and soften out and become more approachable. During this time in the barrel, they, they actually have a lot of oxidation occur to them as well as part of the process. It just is a matter, a matter of course. Uh, that means that when they're put in the bottle, they're a finished product. You know, there's none of this, oh, if I leave it for five years, is it going to get any better? Well, the, answer, the short answer to that is no. You're better off having it sooner. It's not going to get any better. On the other side of it, how quickly do I have to drink it? Well, it depends on how long it takes you to drink the bottle. You don't actually need to sit there in the one session and and go, oh, I want to, I've opened this, there, I've got to drink it. No, you don't have to. You can actually drink it over a period of months. You can actually have a glass a week until you finished it. Whatever you, whatever you want to do, it's because when it's put in the bottle, it's a finished product, it's done.